everyone. Welcome back to Rose Mauling with Art of Lisa. I'm Lisa, as you know. For those of you who are new, this is a channel dedicated to the wonderful folk art of Rose Mauling. For those of you who have been with me before, you know the story. All right, so let's move down to my table. All right, here we go. So as you can see down here right now, I have a Dalla horse all ready to go. This is by the wonderful woodworker named Mike Lusk out in Wisconsin, and I can put his information in the notes for you guys. All right, let me get you nice and close. So we're going to do some just fun telemark rose mulling on this today and I have a basic idea of where I want to go. I've uh, painted a number of these and I'm sure many of you have seen them before and if not well welcome. All right so I think I'm going to go with a lighter blue today. This is actually base coated with Joe Sonia Galaxy Blue and uh I don't know, maybe we'll do some light blues to start with. All right, so I'm going to put a little start of a flower there because, you know, we're going to have part of the bridal going around. So just to kind of give myself a reference, there we go. I'm using a number four Joe Sonia Sure Touch 1350 round. Let's see here. Come around like this, okay. I can even do a little thing here. All right, hmm. Now my paint is beading up a little bit. Now I base coated this a while ago. So sometimes when things have been base coated a while ago, um, it's got different oils or different textures to it. And I don't know if you can see right in here. All right, see it's beading? So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of vinegar, just white vinegar, add it to some paper towels here that I have cut up in squares. And I'm just going to rub down, this will break down the oils that I've on this. Um, this is a trick that I learned a long time ago and I wish I can remember exactly why this works. Anybody out there who can break that down for me, oh, just write it in the comments, that would be awesome. All right, so here we go. I think we're going to do this in blues and whites. So I have my blue is Prussian blue and burnt sienna for my dark blue, Prussian blue, burnt sienna, and warm white for my light blue and warm white. Let's see, let's, let's put our little knob there. I have a little medium ready to go and let's get going. All right, there we go. That's a little better. Okay, I'm getting my C stroke here. Remember rose mauling is made up of C strokes and S strokes. Oh, I need a little more medium. So I have a medium mixed together. My medium is one to one to one and it is Joe Sonia Glaze, Joe Sonia Flow Medium, and Joe Sonia Retarder, all by the company Chroma out of Lidditz, Pennsylvania. All right, I went back and took a little bit of my darker blue in there. So let's get that nice little S stroke going here. So I'm kind of combining the two on my brush as I go. Kind of gives a nice effect of the mane. Let's do this. I'm going to pull the brush stroke towards me. I'm always pulling the brush stroke towards me. It's so much easier to control if it's pulled towards me. When I push away, those bristles kind of get a little out of control. All right, let's get a little bump up here. Here we go. And I'm, as you can see, I am doing this freehand, so I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. There we go. Let's bring that around here. Maybe we'll add a little more of the warm white to this to give it a little more contrast. 
a little more pop. So these paints are an acrylic paint, so they are drying very quickly. But I do a lot of um, mixing on my brush to get some nice blending with it. You can still see it's a little wet, so I can kind of pull this white on top of it. There we go. That's pretty. Okay, so now normally I like to do maybe a little start of a flower here. This will tie into maybe a breastplate for the horse. And let's just get going here. Oh, not happy with how clunky my brush got, so I just took some of the paint out. I'll reapply it. Now let's try again. This time I add a little more of the darker blue in there. Okay, there we go. And we're just gonna base these in. Sometimes it's fun to do a pattern in uh, almost a monochromatic or a duochromatic palette. Okay, this is going to be a, a two-part video. The second part will be with detailing. I'm just going to add this down here. Just a fun video to do on this Friday. I've been very fortunate to uh, actually be teaching a class on Zoom. It was an experiment. Uh, it's a three-day class and I think it's going well. So hopefully I'll be starting a new venture with online classes. We'll see what happens. Don't hold me to anything yet. All right, let's wipe a little of the brush. I can dip in my medium and wipe out, and that helps a little bit. Okay, maybe I'll go over here now. I'll add a flower in the rumpa, the rear end of my horse here. Let me bring that nice little C and then to an S. Now I'm taking my bristles, I'm pushing them down to get that width, and then I pull them up to a stop and pull up. I'm going to add a little darker blue to that. Let me pull that around and kind of blend in. Oh, I like how that looks. Hmm, I think I need to go back over here a little bit. Let me bring some of that blue in there. Maybe around this way. Here we go. Just adds a little variation. Nice little pop to it. Okay, let's bring a C stroke up here. I'm pushing those bristles down, pulling them up to a point and down to where my sepal is. Remember these rose molly is based on flowers. So when you look at flowers in nature, all the petals and stems go down to a sepal. So same idea here. Let's pull it this way. I like how that looks. Now I say we need to follow through here. So maybe we'll do some more of this dark blue here. Pull it down and around. A little bit more. And instead of a S stroke with a point here, I'm going to do an S stroke that has a rounded edge, a knob to it. And I'll pull that right in there. Okay, let's get this guy in here, a little white. Have that nice line that comes around. We'll just add a little fast little teardrops here using this brush. Okay, let's come around this way. Now, it looks like I need a little white. I'm looking for balancing my colors. So maybe we'll do the same. We'll just nice drag in, let the bristles feather out. There we go. Pretty. Now, sometimes I tend to overdo it and I don't leave enough room for details, so I'm going to try not to overdo today. I'll just kind of bring in 
I've got some nice white with that, so maybe I need to do a little bit of that same kind of feathering effect up here. Just a little bit. There we go. All right, let's see. Maybe a little flower coming off the top of that S stroke. I have C stroke there. I've been confusing my S's and C's all day. Why? I don't know. I must be getting tired. All right, a little dot. We'll do that same little effect here. Down like that. All right, maybe we'll come over here too. Here we go. He's coming together quite nicely. Little eye there. Now, obviously, it's got a lot more, a lot further to go with detail. And now, acrylics dry darker than when the color first appears on the piece. So a lot of times I have to come back and go over the color to get the true essence of the pigment. And uh, so that you have to wait till it dries and then you come back. Okay. It does need a little help down here, the tail a little bit. But even when you pull these, this color off on top of it, it just adds a little bit. Maybe we'll go over here. Here we go. Okay. I'm liking how he's looking here. All right. Kind of cool, right? My friend, the dollar horse. Let's see, how far into this are we? Well, we're about 12 minutes. All right. I think I'm going to just do, let's see, let's do a little flower off the back here. So like a saddle. Here we go. So I'm going to pull up. I'm going to just pull some strokes down. Little flower there. Mm, I'm not sure if I like that. Let's try something else. So we're just going to wipe that away. See? One, two, three. Wipe it away. Let's dry that off a little bit. All right, let's try this again. Let's try with a little of the black. And I'm guesstimating on, not black, dark blue. There we go. That makes me happier. I like that much more. Let's go this way. There we go. Okay. And maybe we'll do a little circle there. And then we'll come in the opposite direction. Pull it in. Here we go. And I'll come back and highlight with these with some different colors there. Sorry, I'm getting a little out of the frame there. Sorry about that. Hopefully you saw most of it. All right. So here's part one of my dollar horse. I hope you enjoyed it. Welcome back uh, next week or in a few days. I'll have part two and we'll have some detailing done. I thank you again for joining me. Have a blessed day and remember, it's just paint.